Good afternoon. Uh, today we are marking uh, a major investment in NATO's uh, fleet of air wax surveillance uh, aircraft. Our uh, $1 billion contract with Boeing will modernize this aircraft, ensuring its service to 2035. NATO airworks have been our eyes in the sky, supporting our airborne operations for decades. From patrolling American skies after 9-11 to, uh, to our operations in Afghanistan and as part of the global coalition against uh, ISIS. The modernization uh, will ensure NATO remains at the uh, leading edge of uh, technology. It will provide AWACS with sophisticated new communications and networking capabilities so these aircraft uh, can continue their vital uh, mission and uh, contribute to our uh, security. Sir Michael, um, I want to thank you for being here uh, today. Our contract with Boeing uh, shows NATO's strong commitment to working uh, with industry to keep our transatlantic alliance strong. 16 NATO allies on both sides of the Atlantic are funding this modernization. And companies from Europe and North America are working together to provide high-tech capabilities. NATO is an alliance that continues to adapt, so we are already thinking about the future of our surveillance and control capability. We are planning uh, the replacement of the AWACS in 2035. Here again, NATO will work closely with industry. We will consider how technologies like artificial intelligence, autonomous systems and big data can help NATO keep its edge. As we begin to modernize our AWACS aircraft, the first the first of our new Alliance ground surveillance drones has arrived uh, at its new home in Sigonella in Italy. This will help NATO have the best possible intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. NATO is an important platform where allies can join forces and invest in new capabilities for our shared security. We will continue to modernize and adapt our alliance, both now and in the future. Sir Michael, once again, thank you for being here with us. Your presence shows the strong transatlantic ties and cooperation between NATO and industry. Thank you. Well, Secretary General, thank you very much. And it's a great honor to be here with you today on what is a major milestone, both for the Alliance and for the Boeing Company with our industrial partners. We are very excited about today and this uh, forward-looking contract to modernize the AWACS. As you yourself often say, sir, the, the Alliance is at its strongest when we work together. And as you just uh, enumerated, there's a number of NATO partners in this, both on the government side, but also on the industrial side. And I think that shows part of the strength. But part of the strength for us as an alliance is the fact that some of the best technology and industrial capability in the world falls within the NATO member states. So when we work together on that, you know, we are, we're well beating. So that is the strength, I think, of, of the alliance. I mean, Boeing is privileged to work with a number of our partner countries across Europe. Um, the C-17 at Papa, for example, is another one we support. The Chinook fleets we've got across NATO. We are an integral part of the Alliance's uh, defense capability. But this AWACS is uh, marking a new step for us as we go forward on that. And on this, we're working with a number of industry partners across the Atlantic, so Northrop Grumman in the United States, and the partnership in Europe includes, but doesn't exclusively include, Airbus. I'll wait for that to finish. Let's talk about these aeroplanes. Nobody's ever invented a quiet one. And we're, we're working on it. But, but our industrial partners include Airbus and Kongsberg in your own home country, sir, and uh, Leonardo and Thales, Indra, and, and several others. So my point there is here's a genuinely transatlantic American European partnership on the industrial side, which will help produce this new, new AWACS. And as you yourself said, sir, this is a sort of bridge. We're modernizing AWACS for the next generation through till 2035, 
but i'm deeply impressed in the way that you all are approaching the next generation and thinking about the allied future surveillance and control system and at the concept stage already working with leading players in industry to help work out what the future requirement will look like it's a very innovative way of doing it where governments the, the nato alliance and industry work together to define the future so it's a privilege for us to be with you here today and it's a privilege to have you here yourself sir and we very much look forward to taking this contract forward on behalf of nato thank you very much from German television ZDF. My question is for the Secretary General. Why did you do this event now one week before the NATO summit? Is it also to show that the NATO is not brain dead? This is just one example of how NATO is modernizing and uh, uh, this is something which has been planned for a while. The fact that we are able now to announce this, uh, uh, this contract. NATO is uh, adapting, NATO is uh, agile, NATO is active, and the modernization of the AWACS uh, uh, aircraft is uh, demonstrating the uh, agility and the strength of uh, NATO. Uh, so uh, for me, this is part of uh, a pattern we have seen, uh, part of a greater adaptation of NATO, which has been ongoing for uh, a long time. We are. We are implementing the largest reinforcement, the largest uh, modernization of our alliance in a generation. And this uh, modernization of the AWACS is uh, one example of uh, uh, that. Polish News Agency. Thank you, Christopher Szymka, Polish Press Agency. The question not related to the, today's event, but if I may, uh, we learned uh, from Reuters report that Turkey is blocking uh, defense plans for, for the Baltic states and, and Poland. I was wondering, uh, I think Turkey, or, uh, Turkey already uh, confirmed that. I was wondering whether you could uh, comment what would be uh, yours uh, respond to that. Thank you. So we have plans in place to defend uh, and protect uh, all uh, allies and uh, our commitment to our collective uh, defense laws is ironclad. And uh, uh, not only do we have plans, but we actually have uh, more ready forces, uh, a modernized command structure, and more modern capabilities than we had for uh, decades. Uh, so uh, uh, we have plans, but also the capabilities uh, to protect uh, all uh, NATO allies. And again, the new uh, modern uh, uh, AWACS aircraft is one part of that. Uh, and the, the AVAX modernization doesn't only show that NATO is modernizing, but it also demonstrates that uh, North America and Europe are doing things together because this is actually about bringing uh, both the countries from both sides of the Atlantic together, but also industry from both North America and Europe together and providing cutting edge new capabilities um, as part of the modernization program for AVAX, a lot of new equipment into those uh, planes. The planes have been there for a long time, but the, equ the equipment, the capabilities are uh, cutting edge, uh, extremely modern uh, 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 capabilities. Um, I will not go into internal NATO uh, discussions. The only thing I can say is that we have plans and we have the will and uh, we have the capabilities uh, to protect all allies.